Welcome to RA Jones and thank you for joining us today. We're here on our shop floor at our North America headquarters in Covington, Kentucky. I'm Sharon Blackburn and I'm the customer service portfolio manager and I will be your host today. First, we're gonna talk about RA Jones. RA Jones has been in business since 1905, manufacturing extensive portfolio of solutions for primary and secondary packaging equipment, including aerosol, chub, cartoning, cup filling, pouching, and many more. For markets including food, beverage, personal care, and many other consumer goods markets. Now we're gonna talk about our customer service portfolio and the many services we offer our customers. Field service, parts, remote assistance, training, audits, and many more. We begin with our field service team. That's our experienced technical staff of roughly 40 service technicians with a combined 600 years of experience available around the clock. Our service technicians can offer you assistance either at your location next to your machine or remotely through many high-tech resources. We also offer quality parts through our full service parts support team or online at our parts ordering portal. We also offer customized training for your operators and maintenance staff. It can be informal to formal, on-site or anywhere you need, need it to be. We can offer this service for you. We're also gonna talk about operating your packaging machinery at peak performance through specialized audits, preventive maintenance kits, and field service agreements. Joining us today is Paul Wolf, Director of Customer Service here at RA Jones. Welcome, Paul. Hi, Sharon. Thanks for having me. Great. Thank you for being here. So, Paul, can you tell us what's really important to our packaging equipment customers as far as customer service is concerned? That's a big question, yeah. and I've got several ideas on that, but most important to our customers, it's all about output. I know we talk about ease of use and we talk about quick changeovers and value added service, but really our customers, what matters about putting their products out their door to satisfy their customers. In fact, at R.A. Jones, uh, our mission statement talks about putting the products our, our customers make into the packages consumers buy. So we are, we are here to help our customers put their products out to their customers. And we do that through several mechanisms, but when we talk about what our customers need, they need uptime. They need that machine running. They need that machine to keep pumping out products, shipping them out the door to make their meet their demands, meet their shipment goals. And uh, we, we have several ways we can help do that, but they, they need to talk about uptime. How often is the machine running? How often is the machine down? Because when, they, when it's up and running, they're making money. So we also want to talk about response time. We talk about how fast how fast we can get to their customers. If they if they need us, are we available around the clock? Are we available around the globe? They want us to get back to them. So our response time is very important. Time is money for them because they're producing products. So we keep spares in inventory. We have techs available to uh, leave on a moment's notice. We are ready to travel and ready to help. We're available all the time. So it's our response time is critical to our customers. Mm -hmm. And they also want to get a return on their investment. They have a packaging machine. They've spent a, a large capital in investment on their packaging equipment, and they need to get their return on that investment. They need to put out products, and they need that equipment to last for a very long time, run for a very long time, and keep running even after it should have been retired. And we've got all kinds of mechanisms to help our customers do that. Wow, that's a lot of good information. So it sounds like you're talking about output and efficiencies on packaging equipment that you designed, but you don't run. How in the world can you help the customer with that? It sounds like a monumental task. It is a tough program and there's a lot to do, but at RA Jones, we have a holistic approach that we call asset management. And when we talk about asset management, we talk of several phases of how we handle the equipment, how we, how we, when you buy the equipment, how you learn the equipment, and how you maintain the equipment into perpetuity. So we're talking about when we start with training, we wanna train the operators, train the maintenance, train this staff at the facility. A new piece of equipment has a lot of uh, gadgets on it, a lot of things that help produce the machine, help, help production, but we need to be able to operate it efficiently. So we've got a, our service techs and our training staff are here to help train the operators to show them how to use the machine, how to set up the machine, how to change over the machine, how to keep it running. We also have, have training for uh, op, uh, the, operate, the, the maintenance managers who are there to make sure the machine keeps running, do the preventative maintenance. And uh, we can do that type of training in person. Uh, we can have our techs formally in a classroom setting. 
we can have the techs at the machine with the operators and the maintenance techs showing them hands-on approach. We can even do it virtually and uh, have a remote uh, a, re a remote session where uh, the, the trainer is uh, somewhere else in the world and we can train multiple facilities at the same time. So you can get the wow. same training across all facilities. And some people like to be self-learners. I mean, when you want to fix your washing machine, what do you do? You look on YouTube and watch a video, you're self-learners. So we've developed training videos uh, for self-learners uh, that can document how to uh, fix a machine. Here's an example of what our training video would look like. Forming funnel, press a roller adjustment. Once the funnel has been properly mounted on the alignment fixture, with the stamp firmly seated in place, adjustments can be made to the presser rollers. This is an extremely critical adjustment, and extra care must be taken to ensure accuracy. With several components in this solid model hidden for clarity, we can see the presser roller assembly is attached to the mounting plate with three socket head shoulder screws. The mounting plate itself is not adjustable. Hex nuts on the shoulder screws apply outward force on the presser roller assembly, while three spring plungers apply inward force on the assembly. Normally, only the hex nuts need to be adjusted, as the spring plungers will apply constant pressure within their range of travel. The objective of this adjustment is to achieve a 30,000th gap between all three rollers. So as you can see, it takes you through all the steps on, on how to set something up. So for those self-learners, we've developed a package for them to actually train themselves. So once you have operate, once you have trained, trained operators, trained mechanics, now you need to run the machine. Mm -hmm. And in order to RA Jones to help them run the machines, we've, we've developed service agreements. This is a, an arrangement where our techs can come in and help you out quarterly, monthly, however often you want a, a technician to come in. And it's planned service engagements. They'll come in, they'll help you train, they'll help you operate the machine, they'll teach you efficiency, cover whatever you want. And as we work through these service agreements, we get into preventative maintenance. And uh, at RA Jones, we've developed kits of preventative maintenance kits that actually put together smart kits is what we'd like to say. When I'm repairing a machine, I want it to be down for four hours because time is money. So if I have a kit that takes four hours, all the parts are there, all the goop, all the grease, all the bearings, new bolts, you know, washers, all that in one kit. So that maintenance mechanic can go out, take the whole station apart, do all the preventative maintenance on it, put it back together and everything's there. So we have kits and we can make kits as big or as small as you want to do, however, as much or little maintenance as you want to do. And as you work through the life of the machine after 18 months, two years, we'd like to have a service tech come back in and do what we call an audit of the machine. Mm -hmm. And in the audit, we actually have a service tech go through the machine from beginning to end, looking over every bearing, every nut, every bolt, every chain guide, every rail. Look at everything on the machine, wear parts, chain parts, to make sure everything's operating efficiently, looking for things that are worn out prematurely. Are there leaks in gearboxes? And we have a specific audit tool that we use that shows up a tablet that the service tech uses with your, your machine, with a specific parts list for your machine to make sure that we're hitting all the parts of the machine for that all. So as the technician goes through the machine, they look at shafts, they look at bearings, and they see if they see score marks or any of the shafts worn out. And as soon as they find something that may need to be replaced sooner or later, they go into the tool and they uh, mark the item that needs to be replaced. And then they add it to the uh, machine condition report, which is an Excel spreadsheet that keeps track of all the items on the machine and uh, basically puts down what he sees. Does it need to be replaced sooner or later? Red would mean sooner. Yellow might mean it's okay. Green, leave it. So as they, they go through, they look at all the items and, re and look to replace the items on the machine condition report. They'll actually also give a status of the report, a uh, description of what they've seen and uh, what action you should take as a customer. And once you have the final report filled out and all the information collected on the initial condition report, we end up with a final condition report that gets reviewed with the customer to let them know what components should be replaced in the future, what can be replaced now, what can be replaced later, and uh, how you can keep your machine functioning and uh, basically maintain your uptime for the life of the machine. So that audit tool is a full review of your machine from beginning to end to let you know what, what is the current status of your machine. And as we go business year in, year out, 
Back at R.A. Jones at the headquarters, we have hundreds of engineers developing new products and new ideas. These new ideas aren't just for new equipment. We can put them on old equipment too. So if we, we can get into modernization projects where we can actually take obsolete electronics and replace them with the latest, newest gadgets and gizmos. We can take uh, new design techniques and implement them on older machines. 10 years old, 20 years old, we've got machines that are 50 years old, old out there, still running, still performing, and that's because we maintenance them, they've got trained operators, and they're looking at upgrading their machine to keep it running until they need to replace it. That's the full line of asset management that we look at on our, on our machines. Wow, that's a lot. And, and, and it covers a lot of critical tasks that our packaging customers need to do to ensure the best return on their investment for their packaging machinery. But what, ha what happens when the machine breaks down? So now you're either losing your production slowed down or it's completely stopped and it's three o'clock in the morning. Then what? How can you help the customer? And that's, a, that's everything nobody wants to do. Exactly. Asset management, we try to avoid all that downtime. We try to make sure you're not going down, but it's gonna happen eventually. Somebody's gonna break something, something wears out, something, something just goes wrong. And uh, you need 24-hour access. You need around-the-world service. And we've, we've paired some good uh, techniques and good services in R.A. Jones to help people do this. So first of all, our 24-hour hotline gives you access to text any time of the day. You call their line, they uh, take a message, they respond to you. Any time of the day, we have four guys responding to calls. And uh, if you're down in the middle of the night, uh, they'll, take your, they'll take your message and uh, try to get you up and running. They'll be able to talk you through problems. Uh, work with your operator maintenance guy and uh, help you help you through any, uh, help you through the rough times. Mm -hmm. Also, if you're down, you might need to have some parts come in. And while you're down, we have a web shop, online version. You can buy your own parts online. There's pictures on the web shop so you can see which parts you're buying. It's available 24/7 as well. The internet never sleeps, so uh, you can go on there to the web shop, buy your parts, and uh, see if they're in inventory and then get them shipped to you and see how long you need to wait for those parts. So right. it's another opportunity to work 24 seven. And of course, we always talk about remote assistance, but what does that really mean? Well, if you go down and you're in India and the guy that helped you install the machine is in the US, it's gonna take 24, 36 hours to actually get that tech on site. Well, we can't wait that long. Time is money, we need, we need output. So uh, we can do remote assistance where we can pair our service tech and your, oper your maintenance operator or your, the operator of the machine together virtually in a virtual environment using our tool called XM Reality where they can actually interface with a video. You can actually see the service tech's hands on your video at the machine so you can point out what you need to adjust. We also have PLCs and uh, interfaces where we can actually uh, connect our electrical engin uh, engineers, electrical techs to your PLC around the world any time of the day to fix any problems, to debug the program, to change a bit in the program, and see what's just making the machine now run. So, and as always, we have techs that are ready to dispatch on a moment's notice. They pack their bags, they're out the door, same day. So we, uh, we keep our techs on the go, we keep them out there helping you out, and make sure you guys, customers, keep their uptime. Well, that's a lot of information, Paul. Thank you for sharing that. We really appreciate it. And your passion for customer service comes through loud and clear. And thank you for joining us as well. Uh, if you have any questions or would like additional information, please feel free to contact us or visit us at www.rajones.com. Or you can call us at 1-800-216-4499. Or you can always email us at info at rajones.com. Thank you and have a great day.